Alright my friends, so today we are going to discuss whether you should summon for the Revival Legends Limited Super Gogeta uh, or not and I'll give you my opinion about whether you should summon for him or not and then at the end of the day as I always say it's up to you to decide whether you want to summon or not and let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below. Now before we start don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already to stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends and if you enjoy the video make sure to hit that like button and share the video with your friends and without any further ado let's just get started so first of all why should you summon for the legends limited revival super gogeta well the reason is that you are going to have a very big asset for your fusion warrior team and for your sagas from the movies team now unfortunately at the time i am recording this video we don't have his kit so i can't tell you whether he is going to be extremely broken or only good uh, but he is obviously going to be at bare minimum good and since he is a revival character that alone gives him a big plus above any other character so that is going to be actually at the very minimum a very good ability for him and it's as I said before a very big plus for him and not to mention this is going to be the very first revival uh, fusion warriors character uh, which is going to be a big asset for the team and if they make him as useful and uh, as good as the legends limited 17 from the tournament of power then he is going to be extremely useful for the fusion warriors team and he is going to be a significant character for the team that might be coming during the legends festival as well because right now we have ultra vegeto blue uh, we are going to get the uh, revival super super gogeta we have also ultra gogeta blue who unfortunately his defense isn't really that great anymore but his damage is still very good and then during the Legends Festival Part 3, we might be getting Ultra Gogeta 4. And in case we get him, and Super Gogeta is as useful in terms of defense and support as uh, Legends Limited uh, 17 from the Tournament of Power, then that is going to make actually the Fusion Warriors team a top 1 team. So that's why you might want to have actually the Revival Super Gogeta in that case. Now, if you are in the Fusion Warrior team, as I said before, he is going to be very good for the Sagas from the movies team as well. So in case you main the Sagas from the movies team, he is going to be incredibly useful there as well. And you are finally going to have a new Sagas from the movies character that can revive and that you can actually throw in front of the Rising Rush without fearing the nullification that both Vegito Blue and Gogeta Blue has for Endurance. Because if you throw an Endurance character in front of Gogeta Blue and Vegito Blue, you don't, you don't get anything out of it because they kill that character. They don't care about the Endurance. So now that you have a revival character, that is going actually to give you a big advantage because even if they have a, 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 an endurance notification they don't have a revival notification so that is going to be a big plus for the team as well so that's why you should summon for him uh, and as I said before we will have to wait and see his kit whether it is broken or not that is also going to be counted in that but outside of the kit uh, if you are actually a Fusion Warriors main or a Thagus from the movies main, this is a very big asset for you that could actually help you a lot to make your team extremely useful in PvP. Now why should you not summon for him? Well, we are actually on the doors for the Legends Festival. The Legends Festival, believe it or not, is going to start within 28 days from now. And that means we are actually very close to uh, to what the hype characters or to when the hype characters are going to droop and that means that if you spend so many chrono crystals on this banner that might be very bad for you you might not be able to uh, to basically collect uh, as many chrono crystals as you need by the start of the legends festival and therefore you might actually 
uh, not be able to summon for the characters that we get in the Legends Festival or not be able to get them. So if you actually don't care about the fusion warriors or the sagas from the movies then maybe you should actually skip this Super Gogeta and instead focus on the Legends Festival. Uh, unfortunately this time it's going to be very hard to predict who they are going to give us during the Legends Festival because of the fact that they literally gave us every single extremely hype character that we could think of and there aren't actually any more hype characters that we could think of. There are characters like for example uh, Legends Limited uh, Super Baby 2 or Legends Limited uh, Kaioken Goku and uh, Evolution Vegeta. There are characters like that but these aren't actually on the level of uh, for example Ultra Instinct Goku or Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and stuff like that. So that's why it's going to be a little bit harder to predict what they are going to do. Uh, but we are going most likely since I believe we are 100% going to get at least one part of the Legends Festival as a GT. Uh, tag celebration uh, I think that we are going to either see uh, a spirit bomb Goku as a Legends Limited character or an Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or an Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Goku depending on what they want to go with so I think that one of these three characters should appear at least one of them they might actually go with two of them in case they want to buff the GT team uh, a lot they could go with two of them. Maybe the first part, for example, they give us uh, Kaioken Blue Goku and Evolution Vegeta. And then the second part is Spirit Bomb Goku uh, from the GT. Uh, and then the third part, they give us basically an Ultra Super Saiyan for Gogeta. That is going to be a phenomenal celebration for the uh, GT mains. And it's going actually to make the team extremely useful. So they might actually decide to do that, they might not decide to do that, but at least as I said before, one of these three characters, either the Spirit Bomb Kid Goku, uh, Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Goku should appear during the Legends Festival. Now as for the other two characters, I don't, I, I really have no idea. The only character that I can think of is basically uh, a Legends Limited Kaioken Blue Goku and uh, Evolution Vegeta but other than that I really can't think of any other character uh, it will it, it will be up to them actually to be creative and give us something hype that uh, we would want to summon for and I have trust in them because seeing how much effort they are putting into the animations from the start of the 5th anniversary until now I can, t I can grant you that they are going to make the animations extremely awesome. So we will see what they are going to do. But uh, as I said before, in case you don't care about the fusion warriors or the sagas from the movies, then maybe it's a better idea to skip actually Revival Super Gogeta and instead go for the... Uh, for the Legends Festival and see what we are going to get there. Anyways, with that being said, that was everything for today. Uh, just to, summar to summarize it up, if you want to summon for him, it's going to be good for your Fusion Warriors team or your Sagas from the Movies team. Uh, and if you don't care about these two teams, then it's going to be better to skip him and instead focus on the Legends Festival, which is coming within 28 days. So this is my opinion about it. Let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below. And I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too. And if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything you know about Dragon Ball Legends. And with that being said, see you as always in the next video of Dragon Ball Legends.